This is Earth, the year 2100. This is the headquarters of Space Patrol. And men from Earth, Mars, and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. Turkish bath is the most relaxing place I know. Uh, I can't get peace anywhere. I regret disturbing you, Colonel, but a rocket ship carrying gold bars has been attacked by space pirates. Where's the pirate ship now? When last seen, it was near Jupiter. Is there a space patrol anywhere near them? Galosphere 347 is 100,000 miles away from the planet. Put me onto them. The space pirates have attacked another cargo ship. They're near Jupiter, and I want you to go after them. Your new course is 21 South, 31 Southeast. We'll follow them at once. Did you get our new course, Husky? Yes, Captain. Boost the Meeson power, Slim. The Gallosphere's shaking badly. We need a new one. Yeah, there's no chance of that. The supply of plutonite is almost at an end. That's ridiculous. Without Plutonite, we can't build Galospheres. I know, but the mines on Pluto are nearly all worked out. When this ship cracks up, Rayburn might have to give us a rocket. But they're much slower. That's the trouble. Patrolling space will take twice as long and be twice as difficult. Jupiter's on the screen. No sign of the pirates. Slim, change to orbital drive. I want to go around the other side. <laughs> Where do these pirates come from? Nobody knows, but in the last two years, they've got away with a fortune. There's something on the scanner. It's an asteroid. There aren't any asteroids in this part of space. But it is an asteroid. Maybe the pirate ship is hiding here. Cut speed, Slim. I want to land. <laughs> hmm. Keep watch on the scanner, Slim, and if you see anything, call us. Because I am the smallest member of the crew, I am always left behind. convinced the pirates are millions of miles away. Not a sign of anyone. Where's Husky? Still looking around. I'll call Rayburn. We've had no luck, Colonel. The pirates have vanished. They must have a base somewhere. Wherever it is, it's very carefully hidden. Have a look around. And if you can't find anything, report back to Earth. Do you want us to examine the asteroid while we're here? Not this time. My professor. I didn't know you were here. I came in while you were talking to Dart. That asteroid he's found might have come from another solar system. It probably got too close to Jupiter and was pulled into its orbit. Oh, really? I know you don't care about these things, but I'd have liked Dart to have brought me back a piece to examine. I'll get someone to bring you back a piece next time. Ask Dart now. Don't bother me, Professor. That asteroid will be there for years. All I'm asking is a little favor, and you can't be bothered. 
Wait until you ask me to do something for you. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. I haven't any hair to keep on. Good day to you. Professor. What is it? I didn't call you Pop. <laughs> Most unusual rock. Telesphere 347 calling Husky. Come back. We're waiting to take off. I'm coming. <laughs> Sometimes it's useful not to have much gravity. I wish we knew where the pirates have their hideout. I'm beginning to think they haven't got one. What do you mean? Well, perhaps they're not pirates all the time. Perhaps they're a business organization with space rockets. You mean they only become pirates when they see something they want to steal? Exactly. An interesting conjecture. You must tell Rayburn when you see him. What are you holding? A piece of asteroid. It might be radioactive. I've tested it and it's harmless. Very well. Prepare for takeoff. So you think the pirates might be people we know and trust? I do. That will make it even more difficult to find them. You'd better patrol Mars and Venus. I'd like my gallosphere overhauled first. I'm afraid it won't last much longer. I suppose I'll have to order rockets. Oh, get your ship checked and take some leave till it's ready. Oh, I nearly forgot this. It's for you. What is it? A piece of asteroid. Husky brought it back with him. Throw it away. No, wait. Give it to Professor Haggerty. Tell them it's a present from me. So the Colonel did ask you to bring me a piece of asteroid after all. I'll have to thank him. I, um, I wouldn't do that. Most interesting. After I've examined it, I'll be able to tell you how old it is. Who cares? Who cares? What a thing to say. You haven't the mind of a scientist, Cassie. You'd be better off peeling potatoes. There's no need to be rude. I'm never rude. Yes, you are. I'm not. You are, and I won't stand for it anymore. I'm going home to peel potatoes like you told me. You wicked girl. Look what you've done. You've... Cassie, you've made a great discovery. I have. Can't you see what that rock's made of? Plutonite. Plutonite? Yes, an asteroid made of plutonite. It's the greatest discovery of a lifetime. Asteroid made of plutonite? Yes, you'll be able to make as many galaxies as you want. You'll get a medal for this. Marla, I want to talk to General Smith. He will be on your screen immediately. DART has located an asteroid near Jupiter that's made of plutonite. Incredible. We must send miners there immediately. I have a better plan. We'll blast the asteroid out of its present orbit and put it into orbit round Earth. Then we'll have the plutonite much closer. An excellent idea. I'll get Haggerty to work out how we should do it. After all, we don't want to blow the asteroid in the wrong direction. I didn't know your father would be working late tonight. I expect him any moment. Would you like to listen to the news while you're waiting? A good idea. The latest news from your interplanetary reporter is that an asteroid discovered near Jupiter two weeks ago is known to be made of plutonite. And that could make a certain girl very happy because... Switch it off. What's wrong? How did the news about the asteroid leak out? I don't know. A lot of people have been coming into the lab. I must talk to Marla. <laughs> Get hold of Interplanetary News and tell them to deny that story about the asteroid. It is too late to do that. No one will believe you. Then we'll have to move fast. Why? Because someone might try and claim the asteroid for themselves. Tell Dart to stand by for takeoff.
I'm going to see Haggerty. I think my calculations are right, but I'll get the computers to check them again. There's no time for any more checking. We've got to claim that asteroid before someone else does. As soon as you receive Haggerty's instructions, take off. Yes, sir. I've got the instructions. Good. Take off program starting now. We're going into the freezer locker for 21 days. If an emergency arises, please use your Zergon ray to switch off our time control. Message received and noted. Must be near the asteroid. I'll check to make sure. I wonder if I've time for a snack. Even if there is no time, you will still eat. <laughs> Can't I have any peace anywhere? I thought you would like to know that Captain Dart is coming out of the freezer. Fine. Call me when he's on the asteroid. I can't see the asteroid. We must be off course. No, we're not. We're in the correct position. Then where's the asteroid? Tickle me. You mean search me. Whatever I mean, the asteroid isn't there. Galosphere 347 calling Earth. Come in, please. The asteroid is gone, Colonel. Nonsense. Can't just disappear. I don't think it has disappeared. I think someone's blown it into another orbit. That's what I was afraid of. Stay where you are till I call you. Asteroid made of plutonite and someone gets it from under my nose. The president of Venus is calling on the sonar beam. Put him on. I have just had a visit from Miga. He is the wealthiest and most respected man on Venus. What did he want? He has captured an asteroid and he thought you would like to buy it. An asteroid? You don't mean the one I was going to get. Yes, Colonel, I do. You are too slow. Miga has it now, and he would sell it for 10 billion Venusian francs. 10 billion? Where is the asteroid? Orbiting Venus. I have a good mind to tell General Smith to capture it. That is against the law. You should have claimed the asteroid first. All right. I know the law. I'll send a space patrol crew to see Miga. Remember that he is an important citizen here and has done nothing wrong. I understand, Mr. President. We won't offend him. Ten billion francs? What a price. Marla, I want to speak to Dart. You want me to buy the asteroid from Miga? Yes. We'll have to make a deal with them. For ten billion francs? Don't keep reminding me of the price. Husky, change course for Venus. is on its way to see you. Colonel Rayburn is a sensible man. He knows when to give in. It was clever of you to take the asteroid. It is not that I am so clever. It is that other men are so stupid. <laughs> Captain Dart has landed. We must make him welcome. Not too welcome. We've nothing to worry about. Show him in. Ten billion francs. <laughs> welcome to my humble home. I'd 
hardly call it humble. It's magnificent. Thank you. Now to business. All I require is 10 billion francs. And the asteroid is yours. We don't carry that sort of money in the Gallosphere. I realize that. But I have drawn up documents. And as Rayburn's representative, your signature will be good enough for me to get the money. Very well, I'll sign. Excellent. I will bring the documents here for you. I hate having to give in to him. So do I. But we need that asteroid. I'm sure he's a crook. A lot of people think so, but nobody's been able to prove it. He's certainly got a magnificent place. I wonder what these are for. Look! A Rembrandt. With the money he's getting for the asteroid, he'll be able to buy a few more. <laughs> this is fun. Look, Captain. There's a room here. This is the gold bullion that was stolen from the cargo ship. Then Miga must be the space pirate. There's no doubt of it. Let's take him prisoner. We can't. This palace is full of his guards. What can we do? If he finds out we know his secret, he'll kill us. You must get out of here without arousing his suspicions. Then go to the president and tell him what we've discovered. Get him to come here with troops. I don't want to leave Miga alone in case he tries to remove the gold bars. Hurry. I can't remember which switch it was. That's not it. Nor is that. Try another one, quick. For goodness sake, Husky. Keep pressing switches until you find the right one. That's wrong, too. got the official seal, Husky. What seal? Oh, don't tell me you left it in the Gallosphere. Oh, yes. Yes, uh, I'm afraid I did. What seal are you talking about? Uh, my signature on this document won't be enough to guarantee payment. It's got to have the United Galactic seal. Then fetch it. Go on, Husky. I'd just as soon remain here. But I have many other beautiful things. I'm sure you have, but I'd rather sit here and relax. You mean Miga is the space pirate? Yes. I cannot believe it. He is the most important citizen on Venus. Bring your soldiers and see for yourself. That's a wonderful picture. Come and look at this. What's that? Sounds like men. Excuse me a moment. I can't understand it. The president of Venus is here with troops. You're an important citizen. He's probably come to see you. But why bring troops? Good day to you, Miga. It is an honor to have you in my humble home. I believe you wanted to show me something. Yes, I did. Stop! It's too late. How dare you? Where are my men? They have been taken prisoners. I am. You will not be doing anything for a long time. You are under arrest. So, thanks to Captain Darth and Husky, we have discovered the space pirate. 
and also saved me from paying 10 billion francs for an asteroid. Ah, yes. Captain Dart is on his way to it now. Can you sight the asteroid, Husky? Here it is, Captain. Cut speed, Slim. I'm going to land. Can I help you? You know the rules, Slim. A gallosphere must never be left unattended. I am never allowed to do anything. Is Dot there? He is planting the explosives on the asteroid. When he comes back, give him my congratulations. I planted my explosives, Captain. Are you sure you've followed Haggerty's instructions? I think so. Don't think, make sure. If there's any slip-up, this asteroid might be blown back into outer space, and Rayburn would court-martial us. I'm positive I followed the directions. Positive, Husky. Positive. There. I'll set the switch to detonate in three minutes. That'll give us time to get clear. at once. There she goes. And on the right course, too. Gallosphere 347 calling Earth. Come in, please. The asteroid has been exploded toward an orbit around the Earth. Good work, Dart. I also know about Niga. I thought you'd be pleased. I'm more than pleased. I'm delighted. You and your crew have Ten billion francs? A... No, Dart. Ten days leave. 